about six o'clock. I can't say anything, but it's raining outside. Well, you can probably hear it off the tin roof. It's time to get up, we're ready to do some hunting. All right. Well, out here, it's still too damn dark to see anything. Had a cold, and it's raining, and so far it's a miserable morning. Well, nothing to do now but wait for light. Alright. Right there, got us some little does. You know, bucks with them. We got us little does right there. That's always a good thing to see. But this right here is true Pennsylvania white tailed deer hunting. When you sit out in the damn rain and the cold, and all you see are some doe, you don't see any damn prize buck. That's Pennsylvania white tail buck rifle hunting. At its finest, right there. All right. All right. So I'm sitting out here, and uh, it's raining, and this weather sucks. But uh, this is the life of Pennsylvania whitetail, big game deer buck hunter. Now, as I'm sitting here. Just over yonder, I see a tail flipping around. And the problem is, is, it could be one of them deer we saw earlier. Or, it could be some big stud of a buck. Big ass heat horns on it. Big ass set of balls under it. We don't know. It's in the thick. I'll show you where it's at. So. somewhere but we can't see in there so we're just gonna have to wait and see if it comes out but definitely saw a tail flipping the last time I was out here shooting set myself target up way over there as you can see that, all. that white thing right there was a target and uh, I was able to hit it from over here as you can see, which is quite a long distance. It was about 300 yards. So, uh, gave me an idea of where I need to aim if I see anything over that way. But, so far, I only saw them little, little doe roos. Hopefully, we see some more. And, uh, hopefully, this damn rain will stop. It's a pain in the ass. Alright, we'll get back to you later. As you guessed it, this hunt is brought to you by Mountain Dew. And also, K-Bar. Because whenever you need a good knife, and a good knife's what you need, K-Bar is the way to go. Just in case you thought the weather might have changed, as you can see, it hasn't. It's still pouring down fucking rain. But one little thing here, a little life hack if you will, I want to chime in on is if you can't find your damn covers for your scope, 
You can take yourself a blue glove like this. Don't almost drop the damn gun. Doing the one hand. And you tie the one end of the glove like that. And you can put it right on the scoop right there. And kazam. You got yourself some scoop covers. Alright, well, hopefully this fucking rain will stop. And we can get back to doing some Pennsylvania whitetail deer hunting. Alright. Well, the rain has stopped for the moment. That's always a good thing. Um, the only problem with that is, now that the rain has stopped, I'm about ready to take a nap. I'm getting a little sleepy. Uh, I haven't seen a damn thing. Some birds. Some, uh, leaves that are still left in the tree that flip around when the wind blows and makes me think I see something moving but it ain't nothing <sighs> not as glamorous as them hunting shows make it out to be that's for damn sure hmm. well take a minute here and thank our sponsors again like thank Mountain Dew y'all keep me awake I'd like to thank the or thank the uh, the K Bar Company for the uh, the K Bar Military uh, Marine Corps knife that I use. It's been good to me. I've had it for quite a few years. I like that knife a lot. Um, I'd like to thank these uh, these blue gloves right here. Put these over top of some other gloves so I can make some makeshift waterproof insulated gloves. It's working. I showed you my little uh, life hack with the using the blue gloves with the uh, the rifle scope there. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Remington, the 308 model we're using out here today. Got some uh, Remington 308 shells. I think they're 165 grainers. Can't remember. Not really that important, I guess. But yeah, definitely not as uh. Marvelous and spectacular as them shows you see on TV. Nope. Pennsylvania whitetail hunting. The real hunting. You just sit here. Or you can walk. I've never had much luck with walking. But you just sit here. 90% of the time you freeze your ass off. <coughs> well, let me show you some of this landscape here. That's where we're hunting, right there. Look at all that. It's pretty, ain't it? I mean, it was a lot purtier before they came in with their fucking machines and tore up all the damn trees. Yep, yeah. yeah, this is where we're hunting. This big valley right here. You saw earlier, them deer came out. Uh, they come out down here, went across here. About 20 minutes later, they went back across into that thick right there. Ain't seen shit since. Well, back to sitting. Back to watching more birds fly, and hopefully the rain's done for a while. All right. Just got back on my stand. Saw myself a nice big buck. Took a crack at her. I saw it walking off. Pretty sure I hit it. I'm gonna go track some bitch down now and see what I find. All right. Kill and confirmation. Now I gotta go get some bitch, but we definitely got her. All right. Yep. There she is. Whew! The hell of a walk. So we got one, two, three, four on one side, three on the other side, and a pretty damn nice body on her. Yep. Let's get her cut up and put in the truck. Well, at 2.15, I bagged myself a son of a bitch. Um, I did learn one thing that is very important that I must uh, kind of put out there. Um, I'm getting older. And I'm definitely getting out of shape. And, uh, well, just tell it how it is. I'm getting fat. I gotta lose some damn weight. 
dragging that son of a bitch out of the woods almost killed me. So here's real quick the rundown of what happened. I went down the house, grabbed myself a little bite to eat because I'm getting fucking hungry. So I get down the house, I grab something to eat because I'm hungry because I'm fat. And then I get myself back up in the stand and no shit, no sooner do I get up there, get myself situated, I look down and I see the son of a bitch. Ah, uh, damn phone. Go, gotta go. Alright, where was I? I was, uh, I'm fat. Yeah, I'm fat. I'm lazy, I'm out of shape, I'm getting older, all that shit. So anyways, um, I went down, got myself the deer, drug that son of a bitch out the woods. Uh, I got it. Saved the heart. Got to save the heart. It's good stew meat. Um, drug it out the woods. Uh, I tagged it and threw it in the truck. And uh, um, There's probably more to it. But the moral of the story, oh yeah, I uh, was only in the stand for like 15 minutes. Like 15 minutes, maybe. And I just happened to look down and saw a set of horns. I said, son of a bitch, I got to shoot that bastard. Lined her up about, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm being completely honest. It was about 250 yards. It was a hell of a shot. And it was not broadside. It was walking away from me. So I shot it down through the spine and uh, knocked his back out or something. I don't know. But it, uh, at first I thought I hit it. I'm like, shit, I hit that son of a bitch. I knew I did. But then I noticed that it was fucking walking away. And I'm like, son of a bitch. So I hurried up, threw another uh, round in the chamber there. But I'm getting ready to throw one down range. And next thing I know, I don't see it. I'm like, son of a bitch, where'd it go? So I get down out of the stand, I start walking, and then all of a sudden, there it is. There's that big, brown, beautiful body laying on the damn woods. Walked over, got to some bitch, drug her out, and I am fucking tired. I'm going to do me a couple shots and uh, deliver the deer. Or I'm going to deliver the deer and then do a couple shots. Whichever way happens first, I'm not going to... Don't drink and drive. It's, it's, it's illegal. Don't, don't drink and drive. All right, well, that seems the... Uh, the uh, 2018 um, Pennsylvania whitetail buck hunt, um, and we bagged one. All right, let's see what happens in doe season. <laughs>